Hey, how you doing? You having a good day today? Uh, listen, I wanted to um, come out and I wanted to tell you, stop saying you don't have time, okay? Especially for your health. Stop saying you don't have time for your health. Um, there, I, I will say that I think that there's a few people out there that truly do not have time, but the vast majority of people who say they don't have time, it is simply not true. Stop saying you don't have time. Stop lying to yourself. Forget about whether you're lying to others, but you're lying to yourself. So here's the deal. All right, go calculator here. 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, 168 hours in a week. You have 168 hours in a week to get all your stuff done. We have patients all the time that come in and they say, I don't have time. And, and we give them home exercises. We give them home things to do. We give them things to do at work. And they're like, I don't have time at work. I, I don't have time at home. It's not true, folks. And you know how you know it's not true? Because what if you had diarrhea? All right. Wouldn't you make time if you had diarrhea? All right. You'd make time. Everybody makes time for things that are important. You do. If you say you don't have time, now this is going to backfire on me. I promise. I'm going to have friends and family and and people at church and things like that say, I saw what you said. You need to make some time. And that's true. So I say this too. Uh, but when it comes to your health, here's the deal. You are going to make time for things that, important, that are important. And uh, you're not going to make time for the things that you don't feel are important. So when you don't take the time to stretch, when you don't take the time to make the food the right way, when you don't take the time to uh, just take a deep breath or um, go for a 10-minute walk, it's just not true that you don't have time. It's it's um it's not making priorities. Now I use that that analogy. Actually, I, I owe it to another doctor because he he said he mentioned that to his patients, and I thought what a great way of just trying to increase somebody's awareness of whether or not they have time for things or not. Think about it. If you had diarrhea, you'd have time. I don't care if you're at work or not. If you were at work and you had diarrhea, I promise whether whether you're at work or not, there's no bearing on whether or not you're going to make time. You're going to make the time to go to the bathroom. So why not make the time to make it a priority to stretch, you know, get up and move your body a little bit. Get up and and, and go, um, you know, fill up your fill up your water bottle and, uh, and, and drink water or have a snack if you get low blood sugar. Like make time for yourself. It's just not true that you don't have it. Um, you know, the, the fact of the matter is the time that you don't invest now, you're going to pay for later. Your health problem is going to make time for you. You're going to make time for your health problem sooner or later. So make time now, make time for those things that are important. Um, I'm going to do another video on this another time, but I found it very interesting today. Thanks for the likes there. I appreciate that. Um, the little, uh, little thumbs up and the likes. So I found it very, very interesting. I'm going to do a talk on, on this. Uh, I'm going to hopefully get my wife to do this with me, and we're going to talk about this subject because she's seen many, many studies on this, read lots of different studies on longevity. Now, longevity does not necessarily mean that you're going to have um, a healthy life. You're just going to live longer. But there's very, some very specific studies that, that, show, that have been done on tens of thousands of people that show some very interesting things about how, what are the predictors for whether somebody's going to live a long time. And I'm bringing this up now because it's something you've got to make time for. And um, I, I found myself at lunch today, and I was spending time uh, on my phone, and uh, realized that if I'm going to live longer, I, I can't spend time with my face buried in my phone. So, uh, and I'll explain that. I'm going to leave you guys with that because uh, I, I want to put a little mystery there and hopefully uh, catch you at another time and, and tell you what that mystery is on the, one of the greatest predictors of longevity. But listen, make time. Make time for your health. Pretend that your health problem that you have now, whether it's stretching, exercising, whether it's eating right, drinking enough water, whatever those things are that you say you don't have time for, just pretend it's diarrhea. I know that sounds disgusting. Just pretend it's diarrhea and you'll stop making excuses that you don't have time. Either that or you'll continue to lie to yourself that you don't have time. Every single person, 168 hours in a week, 168 hours. Everybody has the same 168. You don't get to make any more. So Bill Gates, 168 hours in a week. The CEO of, of Apple, 168 hours in a week. The guy that's building, par, uh, building cars over at the Nissan plant locally, 168 hours in a week. My son, 168 hours in a week. Okay. Look at it this way. What if you worked 40 of those hours? You worked 40. Let's call it six. Let's say you've got a job where you work 60 hours in a week. Guess what? That's 108 more hours. 
you're only working 60. So that means 108 more hours you have. What are you doing with 108 hours? All right. What if you sleep seven day, seven hours a night? All right. Times seven days a week. So now we're looking at another 49 hours minus 108. All right. That means you got 59 hours left. What do you do with the other 59 hours? Right. You have time. All right. You're 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 just not using it in the right way. Now, that's not everybody. Some people that, well, I've got my kids. I got to go to ball practice. I got to do this. I got to do that. So, all right. Well, if you're a ball practice with your kids, doesn't mean you can't, you know, go for a short run while you're there or stretch while you're there instead of sitting in the bleachers. You're not making the time. All right. So make the time for your body or your body's going to force you to make time later on. And it's not going to be fun. So that's my rant for today. You guys post some comments on this. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I, I'd like to respond if anybody has uh, uh, any thoughts on this. Uh, share this. And um, anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Look at my phone buzzing over here. Um, but I hope you're having a great day. Make time for yourself. Stop using time as an excuse. Catch you on the flip side.